On Halloween in 1975 in Greenwich, Connecticut, 15-year-old Martha Moxley was found beaten to death with a golf club. Martha's childhood friends, Richard Burns and Tori Holland. After she was murdered, everything had changed. You have no sense of peace. You've, you've lost it all. Martha was last seen with her neighbor, 17-year-old Tommy Skakel. The Skakels were cousins of the Kennedys. Tommy's aunt Ethel Skakel had married Robert Kennedy in 1950. The Skakels were also one of the wealthiest families in the country. They're, yeah, that's a famous family. They just had a lot more attitude about, you know, they could do anything. While Tommy was an early suspect, he had an alibi. Years went by. Martha's murder became a cold case. And then, in 2002... And 27 years after the crime... Michael, Mr. Skakel, do you have anything to say? Kennedy cousin Michael Skakel convicted in the murder of Martha Moxley. Tommy's younger brother, Michael Skakel, was convicted for Martha's murder. Prosecutors concluded that Michael was jealous of his brother Tommy's budding romance with Martha. But shortly after Michael was convicted, Robert Kennedy Jr. told us his cousin had nothing to do with the murder. I know Michael Skakel, and I know he didn't commit the crime. The evidence is much stronger in suggesting that other people may have committed the crime. Michael Skakel spent almost 12 years in prison until his conviction was overturned on appeal. And Kennedy says evidence pointing to the real killers can be found in Martha Moxley's own diary. Ooh, and Aaron Moriarty joins us now. Aaron, we just ended on the diary. What, what do we think is in this diary? Well, I mean, we took a close look at this diary. Um, like all 15-year-olds, she kept track of all the guys that she would see. And investigators do believe that she knew her killer. Mm. So what Kennedy is talking about is this dance that she attended three weeks before she died. He claims that she met a stranger there who became obsessed with her, who then came back on mischief night and killed her. So we take a look at that entry. It is there. We talked to the friends who, I mean, this case really mattered, and they remember that night. It's not quite the way Kennedy talks about it. Why has this case been so hard to solve? Because it's not like Greenwich is a high crime area. No, it's it not. It's like a very it, small pool of suspects. Gail, it struck me it wouldn't happen today. Yeah. Think about it. All those houses would have had cameras. Of course. They yeah. would have had cell phone footage. Yeah. They would have collected. You know, I think that uh, Greenwich police were just, they weren't equipped for something like this. Mm. All right, Aaron, wow. thank you very much.